Good afternoon, my name is Les Adams. I'm a custom knife maker from uh, South Florida, and today we're talking about a particular design called a pocket lock system. One of the biggest problems we have in Florida is uh, the debris, the sand, uh, and the bad environment that can foul up your typical liner lock. And so I developed what I call a pocket lock system. The spring itself is completely embedded within the uh, uh, frame of the knife. It's always sealed whether the knife is open or closed. This particular model happens to be a flipper. A true to form, a flipper really isn't a flipper, or it shouldn't be. It should be hard enough to, to keep from opening in your pocket, but yet, when opened, it, it could reach full, uh, full length without having to flip at all. And that's basically the design of the knife. It's all titanium. Using the liner lock system that's uh, a, a pocket uh, allows you to make a very small frame uh, in thickness, but an extremely strong frame. This knife is made completely in-house. No part of it is uh, farmed out, including the heat treatment, which goes through uh, uh, two temper phases and, of course, cryo cooling, freezing. And, uh, how resistant is it to dirt and all that? Because of the pocket design, it's a completely sealed unit. And when it is completely sealed, uh, there is no possibility of any intrusion of sand or material to jam the blade up. And because it is in a pocket, it always is sealed whether it's open or closed. And you've got some government uh, contracts interested in that? We, uh, we have some entities in the government that do purchase this that remain anonymous. And about the flipper then, it just... One, one little uh, push in, is that how it works? It's a ball bearing system, but it is uh, the way the detent ball, which is a tungsten carbide detent ball, which uh, uh, prevents it from wearing out like the chrome balls that a lot of individuals use. Uh, what happens is it, the way the blade cams into the spring itself allows for uh, uh, adequate pressure so it doesn't accidentally open, but yet when the blade is actually broken free, it, it, it reaches full uh, opening without any flipping movement. Somewhat like an automatic without a spring. And this particular model is a non-assisted model. So it's a modular spring and it's repairable, right? Excuse me? It's a modular spring and repairable? The uh, spring itself, the liner uh, spring, the pocket lock spring, is removable and repairable unlike a lot of liner locks that when the liner goes out or the, the locking liner goes out, you might as well throw it away. This particular model, yes, if the, if the, if the spring was, was uh, the liner or the spring was ever to go out, it can be easily replaced. I think that's about it. I think you got it covered. We do use a different type of clip. We inlay the clip inside the frame to keep it on a low profile. And a, thickness, and a thinness. We don't have a curve up tip to the clip, which catches on everything. We've learned the hard way. So now the clip goes in a straightforward motion uh, and, and, and won't clip, uh, clip and, 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 and snag on uh, anything in the environment. And the handle material is? Handle material is titanium. The blade in this case is CPM 154. And everything heat treat is in-house? Everything is done to this knife completely in-house. Nothing's farmed out, including the heat treat. It's done in a Paragon computer-controlled oven, goes through two temper cycles, and then, and then uh, uh, or prior to the temper t cycles, it's uh, liquid nitrogen frozen for four hours. And uh, so firemen and uh, the CIA, uh, this is probably what they're gonna be carrying, huh? I have no idea. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, uh, Les. We'll Thank you. See you around.